Hi everyone, welcome back. So I just received a shipment from Green Spaces ID. I ordered some plants. They said they're going to choose a few to send to me, so I'm really excited to open it. I've never ordered from them before, but I know a lot of you guys have, um, so I've always been really curious about them. Green Spaces ID is an exporter of tropical plants from Indonesia with over two years of experience. I have included a link in my description below for you guys to their website. If you'd like to take a look at some of their beautiful plants like philodendrons, monster, Sterra, Calathea, Alocasia. They do sell in small or large quantities if you're interested in wholesale. The preparation process for package delivery takes an average of three weeks. It requires a check lab process and document processing phytosanitary certificate from their country's quarantine agency. They currently deliver using DHL Express or UPS if you prefer. In case of a plant arriving damaged, they have two different options. The first one is they will resend it once and shipping costs are covered by the customer. The second option is partially refunding with a maximum seven percent of the plant price. If you would like a refund, they do require documentation, photos, and videos of the damaged plant. They send plant packages all over the world and are offering a discount code for Ashley and Anita viewers. With a minimum order of $150, you will get an 11% off discount with code Ashley underscore GS21. Now I'm going to be putting these plants in water. I have all my supplies I need, some different uh, little containers that I, all, I got all of them thrifting, some distilled water. I also have some alcohol if I need to prune anything so I can sanitize these. And I also have some hydrogen peroxide in case I need to do a solution to help with root rot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and we do all things planty on this channel. So if you are a crazy plant person as well, um, consider subscribing so that any episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a really terrific plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. Ta-da! <laughs> Finally got this sucker open, oh my God. This is one of the ones that I ordered for myself that I have had on my wish list for a really long time. Oh, look, what a cutie. So as you can see, there is yellowing on the leaves, which in my experience is perfectly normal when ordering uh, internationally and having plants imported. This is a Syngonium Wendlandii, and I've been wanting one of these forever. The looks like the newest leaves are doing well. Um, and it's a type of Syngonium, which I'm obsessed with Syngonium, as you know. And they have this beautiful white down the center of this super dark green velvety leaf. It's wrapped up really well. Um, it has like saran wrap around the roots and some moistened tissue paper, toilet paper. So I'm just gonna unravel this and take a look at the roots. So what I'm going to do is put it in some distilled water and rehydrate it for a little while. They look okay. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. This has been a wish list plant forever. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, it's beautiful. <gasps> Look, it's a um, Monstera Stanleyana variegated. I believe they have it listed as Cobra on the website, but look how beautiful it is. Look at this one. It has that really, really lovely variegation. And um, I've seen people put these on moss poles or planks and they just take off. They're such beautiful plants. Ah, I love it so much. <laughs> Very, very happy, as you can see. All right, let's take a look at these roots. Okay, these roots do look pretty good. As you can see, there's a few dark roots, so I'm just going to cut those off um, in a minute. But for the most part, the roots are looking awesome, white, nice and tuberous. I'm gonna put each of these plants in their own container unless it looks like they 100% don't have any kind of root, root treatment that they need. Just in case there is root rot, it won't spread to the other plants in shared water. You guys are going to love this one. Ooh, look how beautiful. This is a Pariso Verde. Um, it's a type of philodendron. It has absolutely beautiful leaves. Look at that. Oh, so stunning. I love the shape of them. Um, you can see that the older leaves are yellowing a bit, which is totally fine. There is a new um, uh, leaf kind of happening here, or catafil. It has nice aerial roots. Root system on this philodendron is looking great. As you can see, look at this really long one. Just a little bit dehydrated. 
All right, next one. Oh, look at that. This is an Aglionema Pictum Tricolor. I have always, always wanted one of these. It's beautiful. I did not know how it was going to do with shipping, but it did well considering um, it has like, you know, a couple of the older leaves like with the other plants um, are yellowing, but that's okay because these other leaves look great. Look how amazing that is. The leaves are velvety. Oh, it's a nice size as well. And it has this brand new leaf coming out. This is my first Aglionema, guys. Send your care tips. Look at the roots, they look so great. And it has new growth points happening up at the top, as you can see, like new growth point here, um, new growth point here. Amazing, I am so happy with this plant. Da -da -da. Oh, oh. Oh, ta -ta -da. <laughs> it's a beautiful melanochrysum. I love it. I um, I have a melanochrysum, well, I have melanochrysum cuttings now because, um, or they're rooting, because the one that I had just struggled no matter what I did for it. So I'm, I just thought, all right, well, let me go ahead and give it another go. And this is an absolutely beautiful one. I just love those dark velvety leaves. And you know, as a plant parent, sometimes it just doesn't work out and that's totally fine. Um, I do have cuttings that are propagating and rooting and looking really good but sometimes there, you, there's certain plants that it's worth giving it another go, you know? Look at the little baby roots on this melanochrysum. They're like the tiniest little fragile roots. And that's one of the things that with melanochrysum that makes them difficult for people is that they have these little tiny, tiny baby roots. But I think once they get back to being hydrated, they'll be happy. Look at this little new leaf coming out. Looks pretty good. Um, everything on the plant looks healthy, so I'm just going to let it hydrate up and it should be good to go. Next up is a beautiful black velvet alocasia. <gasps> Look at this. This is one of my all-time favorite types of alocasia. The leaves are so incredibly velvety and black. Again, you can see the oldest leaf um, is struggling, which is to be expected with imports, um, but the two newest leaves look really good you know alocasia they have a bad rap for being prone for spider mites and they absolutely are prone to spider mites but i find just like washing them off treating them with insecticidal soap and maybe some neem um really does the trick and i just kind of repeat the process about one once a month or once every two months preventatively take a look at that dang that's those are some healthy roots this one looks great <gasps> I literally have goosebumps. It's a variegated peace lily, variegated spathophyllum. But look at those leaves. <gasps> I can't get over it. You know, I saw Peggy from Peggy's Plants. Uh, she got, she had an import unboxing and she got a variegated peace lily and I was just drooling over it, watching her video. And thank you, Peggy, you inspired me to um, get a variegated peace lily because I do have a domino peace lily and it's doing awesome, such an easy care plant. So I'm gonna give it a go with this one. Oh, look at these leaves. They are amazing. Can you believe this is a peace lily, guys? Ooh, these roots look great too. <laughs> Ta-da, look how wonderful. These are like some really, really good healthy roots. Like to have an import and for the roots to look like this is really exciting. Okay, looking good. This is a Podophyllum ribbon. I really just thought this was such a, a beautiful leaf. Look at the shape of those leaves. The roots are looking pretty good. As you can see, they're primarily white. They are very, this is a thirsty plant. I can tell it's really thirsty. Um, I'm going to peel off the rest of this paper and stick it in some water. All right. <gasps> beautiful. Look at this dragon scale alocasia. Absolutely stunning. 
the texture of these leaves. Ah, um, I love this plant. I actually do have this plant. This is another one that um, is in my husband's office that he stole. He likes the alocasia and it's doing great. Just like the black velvet, it does enjoy some nice light and the soil to be, you know, partially dry and um, treat it like you treat your alocasias, you know, do some preventative stuff, insecticidal soap, but these leaves, I mean, it's so worth it. Look, look how massive this leaf is. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Again, you have your oldest leaf on the struggle bus, but that's fine. For the sake of keeping this video less than an hour long, I am just going to like keep un unboxing, um, but I am going to go through and trim off all of these dead yellow leaves. When the leaves are trimmed off, the plant will have some, um, be able to put its energy towards the other leaves and new growth and root recovery. Look at these roots, speaking of. Oh, beautiful. Just like what you want to see. Super, super white. Super just gorgeous look. There's some new little um, growth here. All right, this is the last one. And to be honest, I was expecting it to be like this big. I don't know why it's in such a, how it's possible for it to be so large, but we'll see. <laughs> oh no, look. Oh no. Oh, so sad. It's a Piper cro Crocatum and look, and I'm so disappointed because look at the size of these leaves. They're so huge. I've only ever seen Pipers that are like this big. <gasps> what a big, beautiful plant they sent me and it just didn't make it. All right, let me take a look at the roots and see if those are completely goners. They're dark, but they're not completely done for. So I'm going to um, hydrate this and it does have, you know, an extra node here. So I'm going to stick this in water and see if I can propagate this and get some new leaves off of this plant. I have definitely learned that just because there aren't any leaves on a plant does not mean it's a goner. Give it a chance, stick it in some water, see if some new roots shoot off. Um, so definitely hold off on fertilizing until the roots have replenished and are hydrated. Regardless of that last plant, I am super impressed and I would definitely order from them again. Um, I love all the plants I got. They're absolutely amazing. Some of my favorites, the um, Aglionema Pictum tricolor, freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Can't get over those leaves. The variegated peace lily, stunner. Um, I also really love the couple Syngoniums, but I don't know that Syngoniums ship that well. And this one is so pretty, the Cobra or variegated Stan Liana. How about the Pariso Verde? So, so lovely. Oh, I love it. I am going to trim up some of these roots and do a quick root rot treatment. Step one, sanitize. This is alcohol. I'm sanitizing my shears. A lot of these roots look great. This plant's gonna have no problem. There are some little black ones. You see how that's dark on the end and then that's light? You wanna trim that dark stuff off. Here's another one. Has a little bit of that dark stuff on there. And I have 3% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to do a third of the mixture as hydrogen peroxide. Just squeeze that in there. Okay, that's about a third of what I wanna do. And taking my distilled water, do the rest of water. I'm going to leave this in this solution for about 30 minutes. Then when it's done, I'm going to empty it out and just put distilled water. I think I might put a little bit more hydrogen peroxide in there because I think I diluted it a little too much. A little bit more of that. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I diluted it too much. Now it's it's going to work a little bit more. You know. I know my style isn't going to be for everybody because I'm kind of figuring it out as you go. Um, if it doesn't feel like it's enough, I add a little bit more. It's not exact measurements, but I find that's a lot easier than trying to do everything just so perfectly. Um, it takes some of the pressure off. But yeah, can you see the little bubbles coming up? 
All right, I'm gonna do this on the next plant. Sanitize. You know how some roots are kind of orange and that's the vibe I'm getting from this one is like a lot of the more mature roots have an orange color, not a brown color. So I'm going to be conservative on the amount of trimming that I do on this one. It has like a little bit of the light orange color on the top and then it does have that dark color. So just kind of, I'm sorry, my camera's being a pest. Quick. <laughs> Not much needed to trim on that. Solution time, third hydrogen peroxide. And then the rest, distilled water. I'm gonna trim off some of these leaves. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's FedEx. If you hear noises, it's from this fella back here. I love it. You can really see it starting to bubble up in there. So in 30 minutes, I'm taking them out of their hydrogen peroxide solution and I'll be putting them in just distilled water. I'm letting all of the plants rehydrate for about 48 hours. And then at that point, if everything's look looking good, I'm going to pot them up in my aeroid um, soil mixture. Now, pretty much all of these plants are good in an aeroid soil mixture. Um, just making sure that it's really airy, lots of like orchid bark or, um, you know, just any perlite, pumice mixed in with the soil. Big thank you to Green Spaces ID for sending me some plants. They are absolutely beautiful. They sent me some plants. I also ordered some plants. So it's a fun, like realistic import. Most of the plants looked amazing. There was one that's struggling that I'm propagating in some water. But overall, I have to say like, oh my God, these plants are amazing. I am so so excited about these guys. I mean, <laughs> so many plants. So in three months, I'll be sharing an update on how these plants are doing. They'll be potted up and, uh, you know, pretty much established at that point. So don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know which plants you guys would have chosen. If you're interested in seeing videos showing up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, like I said, we have a great plant community on Instagram that we would love for you guys to be part of. So, all right. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.